Okay, for this second part, you're gonna find it to be pretty pretty easy once I uh, uh, try to explain it a little bit to you. I'm um, pretty sure you got most of this because when we were there at the lab, uh, when we worked at the um, uh, with Raptor, we know with the flow charts and the pseudocode and whatever, you kind of got an idea. And this will kind of help to sort of solidify and bring everything together. So let's jump right into the Python code and let's work through it and, and again this is remember this is the first of uh of two this one is going to be the simple you know quick boom here you go type of thing quick code nothing fancy about it the other one we kind of gonna get a little bit more on the fancy side but for this one here at least you get an idea i wanted to just you know throw this information out there uh get it to you and then you guys can do it go and do what you want with it and again, so let's go ahead and uh, quickly jump in here. And um, uh, let's see here. This is on, I believe it's on my desktop. Yeah, this is project. Okay, so let's go ahead and go um, sudo pico and then group. Actually, you know what? Let me take a shortcut here. Boom, here we go. Okay, so. As you can see here at uh, the beginning, you can put pretty much whatever you want in there. You really, um, really don't don't have to worry too much about that. That's just to put your remarks. Um, anytime you put the pound sign in there, uh, the system just disregards that. You know, you can put whatever you want in there. Here, as you can see, anything that is marked in red, and that's that's why I love Linux and or or or, or Pico here because he really gives you the different colors and um, um, he makes it really stand out, makes it easier for you to understand. Um, in the first one here, we're going to take a look at the menu. And what we're trying to do here is the system is going to just simply print uh, all the everything that is in green. It's going to give the user the choice to either pick one if it's salary and two if it's hourly. So how do we get that? This just printed out into the screen. From there, we are going to move to this part here. Now, this is a part where, where pretty much I got stuck um, uh, today. Um, and, and it was here because I was using one equal sign. And what? If you use one, what Python does is it assigns whatever is on the right side of that equal sign to whatever is on the left side of the equal sign so basically you're you're assigning whatever value you have here to this variable so that was and I just couldn't see it I need it what was it 20 ounce of coffee to see the difference <laughs> but anyway once I got the coffee I was all okay but anyway so what you want to do is you're going to give menu you're going to make that an input and you're going to print this line out it for the for the for the uh, user and they'll get to so they can they'll know they have to pick either one or two now here's the if statement um, here if menu equals one which is one or two then this part is going to print out and if it if is the statement is not true then it's going to jump here but if it is true, it's going to print this out and it's going to totally disregard whatever is here. So that's very important for you to get that at least capture that concept. So if is one, it's going to print this stuff out in green and it's going to jump and end quickly in the program. Now, if you're an hourly employee and you type in the number two, what it's going to do then is going to prompt you to get the number of hours worked is going to um, uh, play um, is going to play this line here or or um, uh, I keep forgetting the term of it but it's going to um, uh, process this line here and then we're gonna move on to here here's where all the calculations are done and pretty much I'm not gonna go into detail in this because this is just basic basic arithmetic or math and you just have to um, 
make sure that all the values are as a matter of fact you know what I see a mistake already here I forgot to put reg the G there it goes so it matches this one here because if it doesn't match then we're gonna have some problems but anyway so yeah so once you put in all the information here your last line is going to you're gonna print the gross pay and um, pretty much that's it that's all that is required from you so this is a, again this is a very simple one let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna save this one because I did make that last change there and let's go let's go ahead and run it again I'm being uh, Python there we go let's go ahead and run I'm being lazy and using the history okay so now we see here um, we, we get the menu salary and hourly let's go ahead and do one and it just prompts you tells you blah 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 this year and boom enter your end of the program let's go ahead and clear this go over it again and run it again this time we're going to use two when we key in two it does prompt us to put the total of hours work let's say we work 68 hours and then my rate hourly rate I want um, uh, $39 and 56 cents an hour and uh, we have an error again uh, probably misspelled I'm gonna pause the video and fix that and then come back okay I'm back I uh, figured it out it was just that I misspelled or well, not that I misspelled I had a T as a matter of fact you know what I'll uh, let me take you right to it uh, basically what I had here I didn't see it before this T right here it was lowercase instead of um, uh, uppercase so then that was it that was a mistake uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen here let's go ahead and um, run this again let's go to two um, enter total amount of hours worked I worked uh, 68 hours uh, my pay rate is uh, thirty-five dollars. It went down because I made that mistake. Um, and here, there you have it. Your gross pay is uh, two thousand four hundred and forty-five dollars and twenty-eight cents. And that's it. Was that simple? So again, I hope this helps. Um, uh, for my classmates, I'll email you the um, the Python code you can look through it so that way you'll have it so look for that email and uh, look for that other video my um, other video that I'll have coming up after this one thanks